students, parents, and teachers to the new normal distance learning as we adapt, adjust, and eventually accept the new normal way of living and even in the distance teaching and learning, let's be responsible enough to discipline ourselves and learn the etiquettes in handling our social media platform. Social media is related to the following. Facebook, LinkedIn, MySpace, Video, Photos, Flickr, YouTube, Blogs, Twitter, Wikipedia, Google Groups, Zoom, VOD, Podcast, Video, or Web Conference, Email, Instant Messaging, or Text. What are the social media guidelines for students, parents, and teachers of Shilito Zamora Senior High School school year 2020-2021? These are the do's. Number one, reflect a positive attitude as you post or join an online class. Number two, give your best look for the day. Habang tayo ay may online class, or using the FB group, live stream, Google Meet, or even Messenger Room. Kailangan ang bawat isa ay handa, nakapagsuklay na, nakahilamos or nakapaligo na, at magsuot ng tamang pananamit. Walang haharap sa ating online class na hindi pa maayos ang itsura. Another guideline to follow, be on time and don't be late for your online class. And the teachers, subject teachers, or even the advisors, please inform the class ahead of time if you scheduled for an online class. So, kailangan di tayo malate. As early as 6 o'clock, ay meron ng naka-schedule na online class. And hanggang sa hapon, ay meron tayo mga online class and based on the class program that will be given by your advisors, makikita nyo kung anong araw at anong oras kayo dapat nakahanda at pumasok sa ating mga online classes. Next, social media guidelines. Another do's. Set aside your household chores and concentrate on your class. Find a place where you will not be interrupted. May oras tayo para sa ating mga online classes at later on you can do your household chores pagkatapos ng ating mga online classes. This is intended for online classes use only. No other agenda in using this platform. Habang ginagawa natin itong mga live stream, ay exclusively this is for the online classes only. Wala tayong ibang gagawin dito, walang mga rants o mga advertisement na gagawin maliban sa ating mga online classes lamang. Now, let's go to the social media guidelines that are referring to the don'ts or mga dapat hindi gagawin habang tayo ay gumagamit ng social media if our teachers, if the teachers will assign you for a specific video or even activities na ipopost, i-upload o download. Ito ang ating mga don'ts. Never upload anything that you wouldn't want everyone to see, especially if not related to your lessons. Kung hindi naman ito akma sa inyong klase, ay huwag itong i-upload, especially kung ito ay personal na mga bagay. Be careful of using words and expressions. No to cursing, obscene, insulting words, and offensive jokes. Bawal ang mga salitang 
pagmumura, malalaswang salita, pang-iinsulto at uh, very offensive jokes na hindi rin naman akma para sa ating klase. Another don'ts, negative reactions, posts of messages, if related to your lessons, it can be directly addressed to your teacher. If not related, don't post it. Kung ito ay hindi naman na aangko para sa topic o sa klase nyo, you can address this directly or personally to your subject teacher or advisor. Another, avoid highly emotional content or rants about personal situations. This should not interfere the online class. Remember, our time is limited. Bawal din ang mga uh, emotional content or rants o mga hugot na personal. Ang ating klase, ang ating online class ay limitado lamang kaya hindi natin ito papasukan ng mga hugot na personal. And the last don'ts in following our social media guidelines. Even if you don't agree with the opinion of your classmate or teacher, learn to be respectful. Any personal or group concerns can be forwarded to your teacher. And the last, never share personal information of students, teachers, staff, or colleagues online. Ask permission when necessary. Kung ito ay hindi naman para sa ating mga lessons, ay huwag natin gagamitin ang personal profile na para sa mga sa ibang tao. Always ask permission kung kailangan. Remember this, no to cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is already a law. Cyberbullying define any harassment or threatening a person or persons via a mobile phone, personal website, using digital technologies, particularly the social media platform. According to the Republic Act 10627, the Anti-Cyberbullying Act of 2015 under House Bill 5718, it aims to protect the students from being bullied. Cyber bullish bullies shall face a penalty of fines ranging from 50,000 to 100,000 or imprisonment between 6 months to 6 years or both at the discretion of the court. Kaya, ingat po tayo sa paggamit natin ng social media. Hindi po natin ito gagamitin para sa pagsa-cyberbullying sa ibang mga estudyante. If in case there is a complaint of cyberbullying, the school will implement the following. First warning, the advisor will intervene on her or his student or class who committed the offense. So, ang unang gagawin ay kakausapin ng advisor. Second warning, the advisor, guidance teacher, discipline officer, and parent or parents will meet for a conference in the school to deal with the offense. So, ipapatawag ang advisor, guidance teacher, discipline officer, even the parents, at ito ay mag-uusap-usap sa paaralan. And the third warning, Suspension and community service of 3 to 5 days in the school accompanied by the parent or guardian. Kung may suspension man o community service, ito ay sasamahan ng magulang or guardian. If the offensive acts are repetitious, paulit-ulit, rude, obscene, insulting messages, Kakaiba ang mga negative na pananalita at hindi kaaya-aya. Distributing derogative information about the victim. Mga negative or fake news 
ang binibigay against the victim, posting or sending offensive photos or embarrassing messages, hacking a personal email or school's account, Number eight, sharing the victim's personal information. Number nine, sending messages that include threats or harm or fear on the victim's safety. Kung ito ay nagpapadala na ng mga mensahe na may pagbabanta, pananakot, o ito ay hindi na mapalagay ang victim. Number ten, this will be considered for expulsion. Expulsion, pwede na mapaalis sa paaralan. The parent or parents of the victim, the student has the right to bring this in legal case. Pwede na nila itong dalhin sa uh, husgado kung ito ay grabe na. Mga estudyante or even parents, teachers, bago po tayo mag-click sa ating mga social media, sabi nga, think before you click, dahil once you post it, you can't take it back. Kung ano ang pinost, kung ano ang nilagay dun sa social media, kung ano ang nabanggit, kung ano ang na-upload, ito ay hindi na maaring mabawi. Sabi nga ni Martin Luther, If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But by all means, keep moving. Mga magulang, mga kapwa kuguro at mga estudyante, sa pandemic season na ito ay tuloy ang ating pag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng suporta ng mga magulang at pagkakaisa nating lahat ay matiwasay na maitawid natin at maraming magaganap na maganda upang ang mga estudyante ay makapag-aral din naman sa pandemya na ito. Tulong-tulong lang po tayo at nawapo sa taong school, uh, itong school year na 2020-2021 ay maayos po nating magampanan ang ating mga responsibilidad. Thank you everyone. God bless CZSHS. Thank you dear parents and even to our uh, stakeholders, even the teachers and the students. Maraming maraming salamat po.